And we're back. It's Be Lifted Up, your guide to living an abundant life. And we are here with the right reverend, uh, doctor, <laughs> pastor, all, all the energy, all the swag, the actor, producer, uh, <laughs> you know what, son of the most high God. How about that? Boom. Hey, come on. That'll work. That'll hey. work. <laughs> but you know, before we went to break, um, Kel, you you just gave us a whole lot. And I just wanted to, to tease out um, and, and unpack a bit why I think you are so necessary. You are so relevant. You are such an awesome model of um, just of, I think, uh, man of God, man of faith and man and spirit and all of that. And so the one thing that you said about joy and um, about your crew, um, I think what I heard and what I felt is, yeah, people know who you are when you show up in the room. And so when you show up and, and all of your people are in your space, they probably feel, right? They feel some kind of way. They feel different. They feel the presence um, mm -hmm. and the energy of God. They may not be able to put their hand on it, but um, right. But you're introducing, as you mentioned, you are a brand ambassador. We are all brand ambassadors here to represent and to uh, reintroduce Christ. So I think that's so relevant. Yeah. Um, in fact, even like right now, Kel, because the church, people are leaving the church. Gen Y, Z, it doesn't, it doesn't, they don't feel welcome mm -hmm. or it doesn't look like, uh, you know, uh, something that would be inviting. So, um, yeah, I just really wanted, uh, wondered if you could just say more about yeah. how church, because I feel like, like you're the church, right? Your, your platform is your pulpit. Come yeah. on, somebody. Your platform yeah. is your pulpit. Wherever platform you go, your, your platform is your pulpit. Come on. Like they don't need to come into four walls. Like, oh, baby, mm -hmm. that's over. They, I mean, it's not really over, but it's canceled in some ways in terms of new business development. I use this, I use this term biz development that is reaching the unreachable. You have to be out and about and look like uh, something of interest. So yeah, I just think your platform. Um, so, so what's your reaction or response to that? My, my reaction is, is that even as a pastor, it's very important to me that I am, because I talk about being transparent so much. And when I'm talking to my teens, because I'm a youth pastor, and when I talk to my teens, I want them to know, like, look, I've been through this, what you're going through. And I, I still go through things now, mm -hmm. but I'm going to show you how my prayer and my faith in God is going to get me through what I'm going through. And I'm also going to show you how it's going to get you through too. And that doesn't mean that that's just on Sunday that I'm showing you this. Mm -hmm. Because what I want you to see is that when you look me up online or you look me up on Instagram and you see me and you follow my family and you see what's going on, you see that, oh, that stuff Pastor Kevin was talking about on Sunday, he's still being a testament of that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And what that also does speak, is- bro. What that also does is too, the, the four walls are also important as well because of the team effort that happens in that. Because when there is that uh, abundance of prayer that happens, because a lot of people don't have this love within their family. So then their church home becomes the family, right? So when you have a lot of people praying you through, that's definitely beautiful as well. So what happens is, is that we, I've, what I've started to see was with my, uh, uh, my platform being my pulpit, like you said, what happens within that is that I've had people come and say, man, brother, I came to the church because we'll have a new member that comes and they'll go, well, how did you hear about the church? Well, your youth pastor was online and he was talking about this morning he was just talking about god and it motivated me and i said yo let me check out where his brother go to church boom you see what i'm saying and then right then and there it's like a, ah it's really about getting to them reaching them where they're at and that's and to answer about bless mode that is really how bless mode came together because bless mode was something i was doing on instagram i used to do mr mitchell morning motivation and I used to go, mm, because it was a whole bunch of M's. Mr. Mr. Morning Motivation. Mm. And I would get up and I would work out and I would say like maybe 30 seconds of something uh, inspiring to help people get ready for their day. And then a prayer with it. And it was literally saying, get ready for your day. You could do this. Now, every day did I feel like getting up and doing that? No. And it was one moment where I really wasn't going to do it. And my wife said, 
you know, shout out to my wife, Asia. <laughs> he, uh, he finds a good thing. Find a good yeah. thing. She is such a good thing. Okay. So, <laughs> so my <laughs> wife, um, she was just like, yo, uh, people are looking for you to do it. You know what I mean? So do it. Even if how you're feeling within that moment, but be, be real about how you feel. It. So I said, I bet. So I told them, I don't even feel like doing this right now, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it and I'm doing it right now because I feel like I need to motivate myself and motivate y'all to get up and let's go do this real quick and get ready for our day, get ready for this workout and get ready for what we need to do today. And within doing that, it was this um, beautiful thing that happened where it was a blessing to be a blessing where people from UK and all over are saying, man, I watch you do Mr. Mitchell morning, uh, morning motivation every day and it helps me. And it was like, man, brother, thanks for doing it. Thanks for stepping out. And then what it showed is, is that through the struggle, through whatever I'm going through, I'm still going to uplift my Lord. I'm going to give, say Christ is everything to me. And that means in everything that I do, and he gives me the power of endurance. He gives me the power to get through it. And so within doing that, it was a blessing. And I said, man, I'm going to continue to do it. So as I was continuing to doing that, uh, then I, you know, also became a, a pastor and that was a journey too, because people have always been speaking that over my life, but that was something that I had to hear from God, from him, you know, so I could confirm it. And he confirmed it within my meditation time. And he showed me scripture after scripture about going and speaking the good news and going and speaking the gospel. And, and, and what's the funny about it is that Jesus was setting me up to do this anyway, because of my platform and me speaking to families through my comedy and my acting. And, and then them times when he said, well, you know, I know you're going through some things, but I want you to go speak to this juvie home. I want you to go speak to these kids that are dealing with stuff at a high school. Well, I'm going through stuff. You want me to motivate them? He's like, no, no, you go motivate them. And with me doing that and having programs in LA that I work with, and uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful when you um, have those breakthrough moments in your life, when it's things that everybody was looking at you saying, you shouldn't be able to do this. Right. And this this issue or this situation that you're going through is going to break you down. But when you say, no, my God is going to get me through this and they see it actually manifest because of your prayer and your consistency and your faith, it's such a power <laughs> within that that is so beautiful because now, like I said, you're infecting others with that love. And so uh, with Bless Mode, that was a very deep thing for me too, because it was like, when everyone said, hey, you need to do a book, your journey is so deep, your story is so deep, the stuff you've been through. I said, no, I want to do a devotional because devotionals help me in my ups and downs because I had such a busy lifestyle and still do. Uh, it's a way to get with God and just get prepared for my day and prepared for things that are coming up because I don't know what's coming up. He yeah. knows what's coming up. So yeah, if I get prepared yeah. and say, Lane, let me take all this anxiety, distress or whatever I'm going through and take it to you in prayer. And then you keep me prayed up. You keep my family and everything, my wife and everyone protected. So now I go out with the armor of God, just like I go outside with clothes on. I prepare to say what I'm going to wear. I'm going to go in this closet and figure out what I'm going to wear. So you're going to go outside, not spiritually ready for the day. You got to do the same thing. Go into that spiritual closet and get what you need to get and let God bless you. So you have that spiritual armor on. So you're ready for your day. And that's really what blessed mode is. It's for believers and people wanting to have a connection with Jesus that haven't found it yet. It's also for them too to let them know within every emotional wall, there is a breakthrough and you were, you were made for a purpose. And this is a reminder. That's what the word of God is. The Bible is just reminders to say, Hey, listen to these stories of these people that triumph through faith. And I want to remind you that you have the same power to do it through Jesus Christ. You're right. You're, that's, you're what right it, that's what it is. Yeah. You're right on point. And, and as yeah. we get ready to go, you know, wrap up and you get to break. I also yeah. want to remind you of something else that you said. When God sends you someplace where you're not ready to do it, and the whole world is looking at you and saying you can't do it, and you do it anyway, who gets the glory? God gets the glory. Come and on. That, that's the thing I like about it when he's like, no, I know I can't do it. He's like, yeah, but go anyway, because you really, I'm going, going to be the one to do it, and I'm going to get the glory. So that's really great. Listen, you're listening to Be Listed Up, your guide to living an abundant life. We're here with the one and only Kel Mitchell. Kel, I want you to talk about some of the devotionals that are in the book. I know you have identified a few, and we'll be right back with Be Lifted Up, your guide to living an abundant life.
Hey.